Hey, if you ever wondered how to put stats on your video, like this, this, or this, check out this tutorial. We're going to use GPX overlay to generate photo sequence. We're going to use Strava that we use to export GPX file from our activity. And because of the activity is very long uh, and we don't need to export the whole activity, we need to cut it in a GPX studio. And remember, your video editing app needs to handle photo sequence. You can also use Adobe Premiere Pro, but I'm going to use DaVinci Resolve in this case. To get your activity, go to Strava, open My Activities in Training tab, and then just open activity that you are interested into. In my case, I'm going to use this activity. On the left side, there are three dots, and there is Export GPX button. So now we're going to use GPX Studio tool, and we have to import the file that we just downloaded. Now we have to cut our activity, so let's zoom to place where I want to cut it. I remember I started recording in this moment, so now we have to cut it. Click on the scissors on the left, click on the path, cut in this moment. Okay, now find the end of the activity. In my case, it will be somewhere here. You see the path is blue. Select the blue path on the left side. Click File and Export. Okay, now we're going to use gpxoverlay.com. Open file that we just downloaded. Set your settings. I'm going to use 30 FPS, full HD. I'm not going to use another settings here. Let's click Generate. Unzip your file, open the catalog, and you can see a few parts here. It means that I stopped while doing the activity. I know that I started recording a video in this moment, so let's just uh, use this catalog. To import this, you have to use Media tab and just drag the whole catalog here. The catalog contains photos as you see, but DaVinci knows that this is a photo sequence, so it creates just kind of one file that you can, uh, you can use on your timeline. Use the photo sequence in your timeline. You can see that this is very big. Let's open Edit tab, go to Transform. Let's make it smaller, adjust the position. Now we're going to synchronize uh, overlays with our video. So if you zoom in to overlay, there is a time. And we can see what time was the video taken. My GoPro wasn't synchronized with the time, so that's why the video has a uh, fake time. So we're going to use by computer time, that you, you can see here, it's 11.41, and the overlay is one minute off. So just grab the clip of the timeline and move it a bit. Okay, I see this is synchronized right now. In the bike computer, you can see that the minute is changing from 41 to 42. And overlay too. Now we're going to check if overlay is well synchronized with the video. So let's zoom in and you can see on bike computer that there is almost 25 kilometers per hour. So the overlay is too. Now let's check in another part of the video if the speed is all right. We can see on a bike computer there is 44 and 44 on overlay. The last step is removing this date from the overlay. So for that, we have to use Edit tab. Let's select clip of the overlay and just crop the bottom of the overlay here. Okay, check if it's all right. Okay, so it's synchronized right now. Let me know if you have any issue with it. I will help you and share your video somewhere. Take care.